Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. Today I'm going to review a very very special tool that's a must have for every developer. It's an AI powered code completion tool which is called Tab9. Tab9 is an AI assistant for software developers. Tab9 supports numerous languages including the popular ones that are in demand right now like TypeScript, JavaScript, Ruby, Java and much more. With the help of Tab9, I'm sure that you can improve your own performance, improve the productivity overall. This is part of the Bond Digital series where I'll be reviewing a lot of apps which are AI powered which as a developer, as a digital marketer you can use. Let's go ahead and learn all about Tab9. I'm not just going to do the theory, I'm also going to show you how to install it and how to use it. So this is the official website which is called tab9.com. You can learn everything about it. They have free plan as well as the paid version as well. But free plan will just work fine for you. Tab9 like I said is an AI assistant that helps us in speed up delivery, helps us become more productive and at the same time keeps our code safe. It's private, secure and compliant. All right. The best part is that it would start learning on your code base, which means you don't have to do a different training to the data model, etc. It will start understanding the code that you have and will start suggesting you auto completions and prompts. With that being said, let's get started and see how you can use it. Open your Visual Studio Code editor. I would say the only requirement would be that you should be on Visual Studio Code version 2. Okay, because it supports a lot of extensions like, uh, uh, you know, Copilot and a lot of open chat, chat, open chat GPT, etc. But today we are reviewing about tab 9. So let's go to extensions, find that extension and install it. Search for tab 9 and you would find this official from the company. Click on install and once you have installed, it's ready to be used. In some cases, you might be prompted to do a restart of your editor. If so, please do. All right, so now that we have installed tab 9, let's go ahead and start using it. So for example, I'm going to create it here and inside, let's say Puppeteer, I'm creating a new file and say episode 13.js just for testing. Now let's see how it would help us, right? Now you see automatically the code completion is coming up express and just hit tab and it would write that code for you. You don't have to sit and type all by yourself. If you just give the context, it gives you the details automatically. See how s smoothly you can just start writing everything. Now see the code. Usually this would have taken a while for me to type, but now I have everything here. Now if I just do see, so you can use tab 9 in advanced pro mode also or in local. So this is a quick example to show you how quickly you can set up. Now let's say I want to set up an app, right? So app equal to express app dot use express dot json app dot use URL encoding. I don't have to type it at all. It does everything for me, right? Now let's say you want to do a connect and then function. It gives you auto prompts for almost everything that you are trying to do. And like I said, it's a must. It's, you should start using it, especially when you work in a complex environment because this will learn from your code. Again, don't worry. Your code is safe. This is an AI powered tool. It's safe, secure and compliant. So you can start using it. I use it. I have started using it heavily on my day to day basis. I'm sure after this episode, you would also start using it. <clears throat> this is my new best friend in terms of coding and doing pair programming. You too should definitely get tab nine AI powered assistant that will speed up your work for sure. Do let me know if you already use it. If not, what's your experience with tab nine? Do you have any other tools that you want me to review to explore? Drop them in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I hope there is a good takeaway from this episode. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.